So, under the DHHS, Department of Health and Human Services, which holds all of our birth certificates, which are all traded by the DTCC, that is the brokerage division that holds all the bonds in your Sestake trusts under your birth certificate for the DHHS, and uh, DTCC trades on that. That holds the property, the asset, of the chattel property you through your birth certificate the federal government with the department of health and human services is based in atlanta georgia and they hold all these records but where those records come from they were sent there by the 50 states department of health and human services who also keeps a record because there's multiple people along the way that have to get paid the feds have to get paid out of your trust. The states have to get paid out of your trust. And the counties have to get paid out of your trust because it's run through the county court system, through the Chris system. Under the GSA program, the states get paid from the federal courts. So it took years for me to follow the money. Okay. And as you do this and work your way along, you have the counties who gather all the records. What I mean by that is from the coroner, county coroners, your vital statistics records from your hospitals, your doctors, your midwives, your, your abortion clinics, all those guys. In fact, every police officer calling themselves in their heart law enforcement officers to serve and protect this nation ought to be turning the tide and stop writing tickets and they ought to be going after these people they run all the police departments and the police don't know that they're good men and women don't insult them educate them once they learn the truth and the real law educate them every one of their retirement funds of all those people who work for all those agencies is a foundation of stakeholders that are controlling the who the cdc the dhhs who holds all your assets and you're traded through the dtcc which is their brokers and they're run through our courts through our police officers who go out and are told to write tickets and create a cause of action. And that cause of action creates a case number, and that case number creates a CUSIP, and that CUSIP is an investment control number attached to a bond regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission and sold under the court clerk's ISILN number, which you can look up on martindale.com, and you can get these judges and the prosecutors and the court clerks and the county treasurers and the mayor of your city it's isi ln number and you can take your court case find the CUSIP, see which bond fund they invested a bond taken out in your name on and you can find out if it's invested in a prison bond fund or a municipal bond fund and you could follow the money and that's how the officers ultimately get paid <laughs> i love to roll down my window and my first question out of my mouth is officer hey do you know how you get paid and they say um i think property taxes and i bust out laughing <laughs> i say no here i followed the money here's how it works and I tell them, and they go, yeah, thanks for telling me that. Might change my outlook. Well, I hope it does.